hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this video we are going to understand the consistency concept of accounting which is really simple and straightforward all this concept says is that whenever you choose any accounting policy for your business then you have to stick with that policy and follow it year after year okay that's all the consistency concept says but now we'll get the whole picture so let's just read this one see here the consistency concept states that once you decide on an accounting method or principle or procedure or practice to use in your business then you need to stick with it okay and follow it consistently year after year you will not change the accounting policy just like that no you need special circumstances for that and yes we will see what are those special circumstances all right so let's take an example to understand see here let's say you have a business and you purchase a truck okay and you all know on ppe right on equipment what do we do on property plan and equipment we have to charge depreciation on that on the fixed assets right so when you charge the depreciation how do you calculate it you calculate it yeah you estimate it through various method that are available isn't it you have wdv slm sum of digits yeah units production method so many different methods are there double declining balance method okay so let's just say you went with wdv method okay diminishing balance method or you can say return down value method fine and then in the second year you are supposed to use the same method if you are a proper accountant then you will follow consistency concept and in the second and third and fourth years yeah in the following all the years you will use the same you know depreciation method unless and until there is a special reason okay special circumstance is that clear this is what is meant by following the consistency concept now if you have applied wdv in the first year in the second year slm and then back to wdv in third year and then in the fourth year some another method sum of digits method then this is completely wrong okay here you are not following the consistency concept simple as that same with the inventory valuation also you know now in inventory valuation also we have different methods of valuation we have fifo we have lifo right we have weighted average simple average isn't it so if you are following fifo in the first year then you are supposed to follow the fifo in the following years also fifo 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 but if you are doing fifo lifo fifo weighted average then that's wrong okay fine now why do we need consistency concept that's the main question that should pop up in your mind understand you need consistency concept because the financial statements can be comparable you should be able to compare properly the current year financial statement with the previous year or with the financial statements of 5 years back okay you should be able to compare the financial statement of 2023 with the financial statement of let's just say 2010 you should be able to do that when you will be able to do that only when you are following consistency concept what does consistency concept says it says that you have to use the same accounting policies year after year then only it will be comparable now you cannot compare apple with oranges can you can you compare a class 8 student with class uh, 12 student no you can't yeah it has to be on the same level in the you know accounting world the same level means the policies should be uniform the policies should be same okay right so to facilitate comparability of financial statements of different periods fine so that's why you need to be consistent in accounting and then the circumstances when change is allowed see it's really simple whenever it is required by law you can change the accounting policy if it is required by an accounting standard right you can change the uh, accounting policy fine or if it leads to better presentation of financial statements now understand let's take an example let's just say in that truck which you bought now in the first year let's just say you know uh, what do you say you were using the truck very heavily okay very heavily you were transporting heavy materials in that truck yeah it was you know going to be worn out faster so you were using wdv it's appropriate but then what happened in the second year uh, you got a different client or something and you started transporting let's just say uh, lighter materials on it okay so you decided the way how your asset will be used has been changed here there was heavy usage and here there is lighter usage so you know the operation has changed so because of that you can change the method of depreciation from wdv to straight line method 
yeah in wdv method what happens more depreciation is charged in the early years in slm you know it will be divided evenly constant depreciation fixed rate of depreciation will be charged on the original cost only okay now don't worry you will learn all about that in the depreciation chapter here i'm just giving you a little bit explanation fine okay so you can change when it leads to better presentation of financial statement and i just gave you an example uh, how it will happen yeah fine and then when you change an accounting policy method or uh, procedure whatever it is then you have to specify it disclose it in the footnotes or in the supplementary inf uh, you know the supplementary information of the financial statements that what have you changed why have you changed you have to give the justification and then you have to also let the users of financial statements know what is the effect of the change how is it affecting the profit for example is that clear so change must be disclosed properly adequately fine what have been changed why it has been changed what is the effect of the change is that clear yes so this was the consistency concept of accounting i hope you have understood this it was really simple and straightforward